What's up? So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a nostalgic look back on the old days of Fortnite and looking at the original emotes that dropped in the game. And what we'll actually be doing is looking at the top 10 oldest emotes in Fortnite history. So how this video will work is we'll start at the 10th oldest and work our way back all the way to the original Fortnite dance that you guys have probably expect what it is. I thought it'd be really cool to go look back and reminisce on the original emotes and what dropped first in Fortnite. Anyways, before we do get into it, if you guys are into the channel, please feel free to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, leave a like and uh, let's get into it. All right, so coming in at our number 10 spot as the 10th oldest emote in Fortnite, kind of weird, but this is actually pure salt, which was released February 9th. Now, just as a heads up, this was actually released before the Season 3 Battle Pass, so there are actually no Season 3 Battle Pass emotes that will be on this list. Now, I find it really weird that Pure Salt is actually making this list because it doesn't seem like that iconic of a moat, but looking back, it was actually one of the first ever. Pure Salt was based off of the Salt Bay emote, and really, it's not one of the greatest emotes ever, but it is, I guess, to some degree, kind of special just because of its old age. But it's really not that old. The thing you have to consider is Epic Games definitely wasn't releasing emotes like they do now, and really, like, when a new emote came out, it was a pretty big deal. So you'll see some pretty big gaps in between these, these spaces. Moving on to our ninth spot, though, this is not a huge gap, and actually, at our number nine spot is Flapper. Now, I find this one very weird because to me, it just doesn't seem like that old of a mode. I imagine that it came out like March or April, but it was actually released February 8th, one day before Pure Salt. And this is just another one of those emotes that I find really weird to actually be placing on this list because to me, when I look at Flapper, I don't think, huh, yeah, that's one of the OG emotes, but for some odd reason, it, it actually makes this list. But now that we've gotten through those kind of two not so old ones, we're gonna really get into the OG of OG emotes. If you remember when these next eight came out, you're probably an OG. So coming in at our number eight spot, we have the gunship. So this is where I find this list to actually get kind of weird now because Gun Show was released on January 4th. Now, if you are observant at all, you'll notice that that's a really big gap between our number nine and number eight spot. And that's what's so weird. I have looked over and over again and I cannot seem to find any emotes that were released in between this gap. If I have this wrong, please let me know, but I have done extensive research and it seems that Fortnite just had this super long gap where they were building for the Battle Pass, which dropped mid-February, and a lot of stuff dropped in January, but just no emotes. And it seems that Gun Show was the last for a full month. It's something that I can't even believe myself, but if you look on FNBR.co, that is what it says. Moving on to our number seven spot we have. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! The finger guns. Okay, so now we're starting to get into the emotes that when I think back to OG Fortnite, I think, oh yeah, this was one of the only emotes that actually existed. And this dropped December 30th. So it's the first emote on our list that was actually part of the 2017. I know, it's, it's crazy guys, the 2017 era. Now really the only reason the finger guns is an iconic emote is because of that Ali A meme. But it is kind of cool to think that it was one of the first ever green emotes in Fortnite. It's really not all that special, but it is pretty cool considering just the simple fact that it is an OG. Now moving on to our number six spot, we've got one of the emotes that I think is just really the, it's really not a great emote, but it is coming in at number six and it's the dab. This was one of the best early Christmas presents ever, dropping December 24th. That's what Epic Games gave us, was, was the dab emote, guys. It was, it was, it was a big deal. It was such a stupid emote, but again, it's, it's one of the OGs, and I can't even believe it in my soul. It's just so weird to think that this was one of the original emotes of Fortnite, but it was. Now coming in at the fifth spot on our list, we've got a dance, it's iconic, and in my eyes, this is one of the true OGs of Fortnite, and this is The Fresh. 
season two saw the rise of Fortnite emotes. We actually never had any other emotes before then besides default. And because of that, it really has like this nostalgic feeling around it, I think for a lot of Fortnite players. And what's actually even cooler is the fresh dropped on December 16th, which was just three days after the battle pass dropped. So on top of that, there was a lot of hype around this time for Fortnite players and it was, it was a pretty big deal. Plus, it's a reference to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and that is pretty important if you ask me. Number four, the slow clap. Yeah, did you know that the slow clap is actually more OG than the Fresh? I didn't know that either, but it is. By one day, but... Still, the slow clap released on December 15th, again, just one day before the Fresh was released, and it's really not as special and not as iconic as the Fresh. The point of this video was just kind of to look at like the original dances and what actually was original. And this is another one of those things that it just, it surprises me that this is actually one of the original emotes in Fortnite. But it's not as original and it is not as iconic and it is not as classic as our number three spot. Because coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number three, we have the first ever epic dance release. And this is the Electro Shuffle. The Electro Shuffle was released the day after the beginning of season two on December 14th. I think what makes this dance so cool and, and so iconic is the fact that this was the first ever emote available in the shop. In terms of iconicness, the Electro Shuffle might, might not be Orange Justice and it might not be some ones we're about to get to, but it's one of the OGs, if not the OG of the shop. And honestly, I just got a special spot in my heart for the Electro Shuffle because again, it's just, it's just such a classic. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our number two spot, we've got a four-way tie with, uh, as you can expect, the battle pass emote. Dances are what shows Fortnite. It's what represents Fortnite. And with the release of season two, we saw the introduction to new emotes. From the day that Fortnite released to December 13th, that's three full months, no emote released. So technically, if you wanted to rank them, I guess you could look at what was the first unlock, because that would be technically the oldest, the first that people saw. In descending order, we had the floss, which was the newest because it was the highest in the tiers. Followed by the worm. Then ride the pony. And then the most OG was the wave. It's stupid, but those are your four battle pass emotes that kind of changed Fortnite. Moving on to our number one spot, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think it's something that we can all guess. If you can't guess it, you've probably never played Fortnite before. It's the default dance. Obviously, the default dance is the, the OG. It was released September 25th when Fortnite was released. Technically, it was released earlier, but we're gonna go with Fortnite's official release date of September 25th. That is the oldest emote in Fortnite. Shocker. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the point of this, again, to me is, I think it's cool to kind of look back on the history of Fortnite and just go through all the facts and look at, you know, like rare stuff and OG stuff. And to me, I thought this might be an interesting video just for those that are looking for a little spice, little sprinkling of seasoning, nostalgic salt on their day. If you guys did enjoy this video, please feel free to subscribe. If you are already subscribed, leave a like. And uh, I will talk to you later. Peace.